What's up, everybody? Your boy Supreme Season, and I'm here today for part two or B. Not sure if I said one or A, whatever. Second part of Bill of Particulars. Yes, had to over pronunciate, make sure you understood what it was I'm saying. Now, the reason why there's a part B is because now I'm going to show you how to just give you a glimpse into weaponizing your defense because I'm going to give you an idea of how it's used. For some reason, I thought that you wouldn't hear this loud ass plane that's going overhead. Like literally, I'm, you know what? You know, I'm not even going to do that because it's literally like feet above my head. The bill of particulars itself is a defense attorney's tool for the most part because they're going to file it with the complaining party or they're going to file it with the prosecutor to get a clear understanding of the charges that are set against you and make sure there are no future charges that will be prosecuted upon you for that particular act. Now, just like I spoke of in civil actions, the bill of particulars can come from either party as well as the setting will be done generally on a breach of contract or some other tort. And the motions that they are generally kind of mashed up with to kind of take their place are, like I spoke about before, they're placed in discovery, they're placed in an omnibus motion, or a motion in lemine or lemony, or however you pronounce it. I've actually filed one. It was effective. I actually won that motion, which was easy. And I'll go into that one because that one I haven't done a video for, but it's coming. I told you guys that I was going to give you something with this particular motion that can be effective or weaponized at the state level. It's generally done in a motion to dismiss. Here's one. You're looking at states such as New York, Illinois, California, and sometimes Virginia. Now, Illinois, you guys are getting ready to like me because I'm about to give you something that you probably didn't know. In Illinois, the Bill of Particulars is actually accompanying, accompanying, accompanying? It goes with the, because the dismissal itself is going to detail out one thing. In the Illinois Code of Civil Procedure, Section 2-615, and it's simple. Remember I told you, you want to be specific. The specificity of this is the things that are laid out before the defendant who has the right to prepare a defense. Simply state the pleadings are insufficient on its face to even bring forth charges or follow through on the allegations before the court it's literally that simple most dismissals don't have a direct line of carriage with it but this one does now those are also similar lines you need to use in your motions for dismissal but you also want to point out specifics that can be addressed if brought up so that's what i got for you today that's how you weaponize it. This is how you use it. Supreme Decisions. Continue to support the podcast. 99 cents, 499, And also, you can send out donations through Apple Pay and your iPhone. It's simple as sending me a message. Don't forget your t-shirts. Hoodies dropping. And Supreme 